Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. Um, today I'm going to show you how I do old school freeze curls. I do have a other another video on this, but I decided to do it again. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me and give me a big like if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right in. My client has been washed and molded and sat under the dryer so that her hair can completely dry. I have lined the back of her hair. I wait and um, I don't line the sides until after I'm done curling it. So like I said, we're going to get right in. And basically, I mold the hair in the uh, position that I am going to curl it. So now I'm just going to trim around her ears. Sometimes when you have clients with really thick hair, or even thinner hair too, their hair grows down all the way past their ears. And this is a client that happens to do that. So you got to make sure you trim those hairs around the ear every time she comes. Now, the reason why I freeze curl her hair, because she goes two weeks without coming to the hairstyle, I mean, coming to the shop, and she keeps her hair up for two weeks. And with the freeze curls, it's kind of easy to do that. So like I said, I'm going to curl in the position that I uh, want her curls to go. And basically freeze curling is just uh, spritzing a little bit on the hair before you curl. And not too much. Back in the day when we used to freeze curl, we used to put so much spritz on there. People's curls were burning out and everything. So nowadays, if you do freeze curls, you just need a little bit of spritz on there. A little bit of hair polish and then curl it. And the basic uh, thing with freeze curling is you want your curls to be lined up. And you want them to be in order and right underneath each other. Now, like I said, back in the day, it was a little bit more meticulous than I'm doing it now. Um, we had a thousand rows of freeze curls and it took two, three hours. But, you know, that was the style back then. But she still likes the freeze curl look, but we're not going to go in depth in doing all of that. So, like I said, what I'm doing right now is just making sure her rows line up. And I'm going to go in a diagonal because she has like a little mohawk situation going on that I kind of do. And I usually just freestyle my curls and however the top goes, she likes the top just um, kind of um, spiked up. So that's what we do. We spike it up and give it a little bend. And however the curls go when I do it, that's how I do it. So I'm just going to let you watch me work. I am using Marcel irons, which these go into the stove. So you do have to make sure you control your temperature and make sure they don't get so hot so that you won't have a pocket curl. And hairstylists, you know what pocket curls are. That is when you burn off a section of somebody's hair and you put it in your pocket and pretend like you didn't do anything. Like pretend like that smell that they smelling is not their hair burning off. But that was back in the day. I don't do pocket curls anymore because I know how to uh, regulate my uh, temperature on my Marcel iron. I mean Marcel stove, I should say. And guys, if you have any questions down below about uh, curling hair with the Marcel iron or my technique or any question relating to hair, go ahead and feel free to ask me down in the comment section. I answer all of my uh, questions. I answer all of my comments. So I will get to you. Of course, as you go down, the curling iron is going to get a little smaller until you get to the little hair and um, I think that's the zero iron. This is the zero iron, but once you get down to the little curls at the bottom, that's the zero iron. So you want the curls to progressively get smaller and smaller. And that gives it the uh, freeze curl roll look. So as you see it now, I'm on the zero iron. And that's the little beady one. You do have to be careful. Towards the end, you're gonna ask your client to hold her ear so you won't get her ear. And uh, I think I'm going to ask her to hold her ear almost in right here. So now she's holding her ear back so I can get that little part behind her ear. And as you see, the curls got smaller and smaller and smaller. So basically, I am going to finish up this side. And then I'll show you the back. I have to connect the back with the other side. So I'm going to let this uh, video roll so you can just watch what I do. So enjoy the rest of the video. I'll get back to you guys at the end. I think unless I jump in to say something else, but I don't think I have anything else to say.
All right, guys, so this is the final look. I want to thank you again for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Hope to see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.